something you're very good at. I'm joking. Oh, you mean you just rebooted it? <laughs> oh, well, that's just great. Hi, welcome to the Retro Shared. It's Barry here. I've got a few hours to waste, um, and the weather today in the UK is absolutely dreadful. We've had some terrible weather, so what better place to come uh, than the shed? It's nice and warm in here, and I can mess around. Right now, I was going to spend um, an hour or so, an hour or two, uh, playing on the CD32, but today uh, we were rummaging around. Me and Josh went into uh, what are they called? Cash converters or cash generators? I don't know um, and I spotted this on the shelf and I couldn't leave it there because um, it was only well, $7.99 that is an absolute steal this is a mint uh, boxed copy of Formula One Grand Prix by Jeff Crammond which I believe without any notes in front of me was released in 1991 um, and I was gonna come down here and have a play with this and I thought it would be rude not to show you guys so I know we've got quite a few fans of the Amiga that watch our channel so let's have a look at what comes in the box because it looks pretty immaculate to me Microprose was actually famous uh, more for flight simulators like this one here which is gunship um, on the Atari ST now I used to play this an awful lot on the Amiga. I love this game. Microprose made some great flight simulators back in the day, like F-15 Strike Key. Have you ever played that, Josh? No. No, no, okay. Uh, yeah, Microprose, brilliant. Now, before Grand Prix came out, another classic racing game from Jeff Crammond was... Stunt this car one. racer, you like stunt car racer, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, I like that. Um, this plays quite nicely on the SC and the Amiga. It is absolutely brilliant. It's a really, really good game. And again, actually from Microprose. I nearly said Microsoft then, but two different oh. companies. So this is a box version we've got for the Atari ST. So let's take a look what is in the box. He's taken the time to copy. He has, he's taken that well done. He's taken the time to copy the original discs and not play with them. And we will do the same, I think. I'll show you how to use X copy in a moment. But those are the copies disc that B, the original owner disc created. C. This just says disc two. This says disc F1 oh, no, save. That looks disc. like an Amiga format cover disc. Can we have a look at that label? This one. No, this one. Yeah, definitely Amiga format disc there. Look, been reused. That was a magazine disc. Oh, what's in the bag? No. So it's still in the original bag. Look at those. D C B A. Four discs. Which ain't bad considering some Amiga discs and games came on 15 discs. He's got there's a piece of paper in here. There's a piece of here. paper in here. Piece of with a grease paper. stain on it, so it looks like somebody's eating his dinner on it. What is it? Bunch of gears. That is cool. So somebody's taken the time to write down track information. And all the gears for the right oh, track. Look at that. So there's wing information, brake information, and gear. What are they? Gear ratios? I don't know. I think so, yeah. Somebody took this game seriously. <laughs> <laughs> and we've also what got, we got in the bag. this. Thank you. Additional features on the Formula One Grand Prix. Okay. This is what happens pre internet. Uh, What's that? It's a warning. What's it say? Uh, basically saying you've got, you did, did, did you make oh, is there a bug? Crack? Yeah. Right, this, bug. This, see, look at this, kids. Back in the day, there wasn't updates on the internet, so if they spotted a bug and couldn't be bothered to make all the discs in, you'd get information like this. Warning, Can't the disk it. drive fitted in your Amiga may have difficulty when attempting to load the simulation. In other words, there was a bug. And it crashed. They printed all the discs and didn't want to go through the expense of uh, recopying all the discs again, so they just slip a bit of paper in there. <laughs> Great! <laughs> We've also got some technical supplement. Okay. Mm. Technical supplement, right. Oh, key reference layout. card. Yeah, keyboard. Lovely. And the instruction manual. Oh, you don't get instruction manuals like this anymore. That's nice. Okay, so it even gives you the course layouts for each of the tracks. Don't make them like that anymore, do they? No, they don't. Nice. So all in all, we've got a mint box copy of Grand Prix. So the first thing we need to do is it's make copy. backups of yeah. those discs. Have you ever used X copy before? Nope. You're about to learn. Mm, Amiga DOS. We like Amiga DOS. Okay, X copy Pro, please. Oh wow, that takes me back. That's a screen a lot of us spent a lot of time in when we were younger. So 
Sounds like it. Yeah, X copy. Wonderful. Right, eject the disc. Stick in the original disc. Okay. Okay, original uh, original disc and drive zero. Blank disc and drive one. Right, can you click start for me, John? Okay, here we go. Away it goes. I'm guessing that the green zeros mean it's good. Yeah, green zeros is a good sector. I think red fives or red sixes mean that there was a sector error. So what we'll do, we'll copy all these discs and then we'll get on and have a look at the game. Burn. Page, Page 81, 81, paragraph 2. So I asked Josh to click pre-race practice <laughs> and he clicks race. <laughs> Sorry. And he says I'm impatient. He doesn't do things properly. It was an accident. <laughs> Don't hit them. Why don't you hit them? You smash your car up. It's not changing gear the way I want it to. Is he doing it automatically? I think so. Yeah. So how do you... Br what are you doing for accelerate? You're pushing forwards? Mm -hmm. Move! Oh, he's just gone off. No, he hasn't. He changed the corner. Whoa! There's no signs! So I have to like, follow down it! Was. <laughs> they're, they're very... Bare. Oh, this takes me back. You see how much messing around it took us to get this to work? Oh, my hand hurts from using this joystick! Discs everywhere. Just brilliant. Oh, it's hurting my hand. That one of three. Car five, position two. Like, if you hold the joystick... Do you know what? This doesn't run too bad. I was expecting it to be really slow and jerky. The joystick but actually, hurts your hands, man. Does it you? Is it no, because making... I'm not pushing hard on it. I was. What track is this? Still what it looks like. This really takes me back, actually. I remember playing this when it came out. I managed to get a copy. I bought a copy from Virgin Mega Store, if you remember that. You won't. I remember it. Because I think Virgin Mega Store was gone. That's lapped you. Sorry. Yeah, I know. Perhaps I need a bit more practice. <laughs> I think I was pushing too hard with the joystick. Yeah, I'm only, my hand. I'm only doing it gently. So you get... Actually, you get quite a sense of speed, don't you? Do you? Do you not think? No, not really. <laughs> You've been spoilt with today's graphics, you have. <laughs> I think it zips along at quite a decent pace, actually. Yeah, you keep on thinking that. <laughs> Don't be cheeky. What position am I? I can't look. Fifth. What do you think of it? It's alright. It's not as good as um, Forza Horizon 3. Or it's not as... It's not as good as what's it called? Forza Motorsport 7 or anything. Forza Motorsport 7 is way better than this. Which do you prefer, this or Stunt Car Racer by the same bloke? Stunt Car Racer. Same, same man did it. I prefer Stunt Car Racer. Do you? Do you know what? I think this is quite impressive for the day, for 1990. How many years ago? 10, 28. 28 years ago? Mm -hmm. You're kidding me. Nope. I got fastest lap. Well done. What position am I? Fifth. Is that a car in front there? Mm -hmm. What position? Fourth. Not last then? Mm -mm. <laughs> Luckily enough for you. If I can just pass one more car I'd be happy. <laughs> Did I pass him? Yeah, yes. Third. It's kind of a rough pass. It was a rough pass. I came off the track. How many laps? Are you on the last lap? They've won the race. Eh? They've won the race. Well, they're obviously hacking. Let's see what position I come. Last. I'm joking. What? Third. Third? Mm hmm. That's rubbish, Buzz. 
What do you think of the game? Oh, it's a bit... It's a bit tense. Do you think? Yeah, why is there so many people wearing flags? Because it means slow down, the race is over, and I'm I still belting around like a lunatic. I think we know the race is over. <laughs> that was Formula One Grand Prix by Jeff Pramond for Bye. the awesome Amiga. What do you want to do now? Do you want to play on the Amiga for a bit? I don't know. <laughs> Amiga. Oh. Amiga! We love the Amiga. Amiga! Amiga. Amiga! Probably the best machine ever made, actually, in my right. opinion.